Good morning, everybody. It is August 3rd, 2022, not July. We're past July. And it is time to put some red on the Eddie Van Halen Random Star Tribute Electric Guitar. And I'm going to start with the headstock first. And I'm basing off a picture that I found with the, uh, the Kramer style headstock. And I'm going to do it on the Strat style headstock. And I got a little bit more black, but I'm going to apply the white. So let's tape this guy up and see what we come up with. <laughs> we'll see in a little bit. All right, headstock is taped up and ready for some red. This is what the pattern I came up with. And we'll put some red on there and we'll be right back. Beautiful day out here. All right, we'll see in a little bit. Alright, applied the red to the headstock. So let me let this flash for a few seconds more and take off the tape. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, got the tape peeled off and the red paint applied. <laughs> and that is awesome. Oh yeah, that is that is just super cool. That turned out really well. I'm really pleased with that. Now it's time for the body to get some red paint. But yeah, that is, that is just awesome. All right, so the next step on the headstock is going to be to, in black, apply the Raglan logo right there. And then put some clear coat. So, all right. Time to get taping up the body. We'll see in a little bit. All right, it's time to get taping on the body. And I've got plenty of reference pictures. And as always, I'm going to be winging it. So... Let's see what we come up with. It should be pretty cool. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Fingers crossed. All right, I think I got the tape, the top taped off the way I want to based on uh, several pictures. Like I said, I'm just completely winging it and it looks good. So, all righty then. We will uh, work on the back and we'll see you in a little bit. All right. Alright, finally after about a couple of hours of taping, I think I got it taped up the way I want it to be taped. Uh, just totally winging it, like I was saying. But yeah, I just wanted to show you. I'm going to take it outside, make sure I got my little rag on there. <laughs> make sure all these bits are pressed down, and then we'll go with some red base. Alright, we'll see you we are all taped up ready for some red spray paint it's looking pretty good all right here's the moment of truth where I turn this random star into a random Franken random strat <laughs> so all right let's see how it goes put some red paint on here we'll see you in a sec all right we got the red base coats complete and now it's time to hurry up and tear off all this paint <laughs> in a way that's, you know, that's uh, beneficial to the build. So, and the good thing about this, it doesn't have to be perfect. So, all right, <laughs> fingers crossed. We'll see how this goes. All right, see you in a bit. Whew. All right, got the red paint and the tape peeled off, <laughs> and it's uh, it's definitely red, white, and black. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm not really too sure if I like it or not. I mean, it's kind of too late now. The tracks have already been laid, but uh, I'm not too. I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah, I went to all the hardware and everything goes on there. Alright, uh, uh, <laughs> go put this on the hanger and clean up a little bit. We'll see you a little bit. How's everybody doing? Just wanted to get a quick up final update on the Eddie Van Halen Random Star. I just wanted to show you how good the paint turned out. Actually, it's kind of grown on me. And I did fix uh, in this top black line, there was a red line going through it, and I fixed it. I think that was throwing it all off. But yeah, looks pretty good. I like it. It's growing on me. The little black in the center there kind of throws things off a little bit, but... I think it'll be okay so and I'll show you around the back too the headstock turned out really good I really like the way the headstock turned out I just wanted to show you see if I can get around 
here. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I like it. I mean, I've seen his, I've looked at his original online, and man, that's kind of a mess. So this is actually pretty tame compared to the original Frankenstrat. So, and I'm not gonna relic it at all. So, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the uh, bike reflectors on the back. I probably put the seven nineteen seventy one quarter on the front, so that kind of makes me, you know, kind of have to put some reflectors back there. But I think they would be too big. But eh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I can get some on Amazon, so they're fairly cheap. But all right. But I did like the the headstock turned out really well. I really like how that turned out. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, the the body grew on me a little bit. It's just these these lines right here were kind of throwing me off just a little bit. And like I said, there was a red strip right in the center there, but I covered it up. I got the black paint out and touched it up. So I'll touch up all the white bits and everything before I put a clear 2K clear coat over the top of it. Make sure everything's flat and level and everything. And maybe touch up, do something different on the back, see what's going on. But all right, hope everybody has a good evening and we will see you later. All right, got the Cricut machine out and time to work on the logo for the Eddie Van Halen Random Star Tribute Guitar. All right, I already cut out two different shapes and we're going to see which one fits the best and we'll see when we get on there. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, we got the logo installed on that stock and that looks awesome. All right, next step is uh, 2K Clear Coat, uh, Spraymax 2K uh, Glamour is on the way so when that comes in and we let this uh the red cure for another couple of days we'll put a clear coat oh i gotta touch up the white on the body but and then maybe touch up a little bit of the white here and then we'll go with the 2k clear coat and let that set for about four five six days and then we're ready for assembly yeah it looks pretty awesome all right we'll see you in a little bit all right the 2k clear coat went very well just sprayed it so look at that wow that is just amazing. I love 2K. I love this part of it. Yeah, the body, it's both of them. Oh man, that is just amazing. All right, so we're gonna let this these both set for a whole week. I'm gonna go a whole week without touching them if I can. But yeah, look at that. Wow, everything is level now. A can on each guitar, which is several layers, so it flattened it out really well. So. Wow. Alrighty. Hope everybody's having a good day. <laughs> and we will, I'll do another update in a day or so when this has had time to cure. Uh, where it's, you know, where I feel okay handling it. Because I don't, <laughs> don't want to bump anything right now. So, but yeah, look at, just look at the uh, the shine and the level. It, it levels everything. It truly does level everything up. So, all right, and I've got a surprise coming up pretty soon. On Facebook, I'm going to purchase a guitar for 20 bucks, a guitar in the neck, and it looks in fair condition, and I'm gonna turn it around and make it into something really cool. So, all right, we'll see you in a little bit. Hope everybody's having a good night, and we'll talk to you soon. How's everybody doing on this fine Tuesday midday? It is August 9th, 2022, and it is time to put together the Van Halen Random Star Tribute Electric Guitar. <laughs> and uh, real quick, I just wanted to show you how good, as always, the 2K clear coat came turned out. Let's see if I can get some good reflections and everything in the room. But yeah, wow. I am super happy with the results of the 2K clear coat. So it is looking awesome. And it's hard to do this with one hand, of course. So let me set this back down and see if I can get it a different way. Here we go. That's better. So yeah, look at that. Looks pretty good. All right. It is time. So here we are. Okay. So the first thing as always is to situate the bridge. So I'll add the bridge posts 
Um, and we'll see you after I do that. All right, see you in a sec. some bike reflectors and in true Eddie Van Halen style 1971 quarter that I'm gonna put a couple holes in attach to the front and we'll see how it goes <laughs> all right and I fixed the red here I don't know if you recall from before and there's a red strip there and I fixed the back too there were some issues with the paint that I fixed all that prior to the 2k clear coat all right we'll see you up next up Alright, installation of the bridge, bridge posts complete and successful. That's always a little point of stress because you just never know how it's going to go. But they went in pretty good and they look like they're lined up correctly and in the proper position. Alright, let me get the bridge out, get the claw, the posts, and get all that squared away. And kind of get that in the position it needs to be and we will be right back. Alright, we're doing it. Eddie Van Halen trivia, yes. Alright, see you in a little bit. Springs installed and the bridge on the post to the back. All right, looks pretty good. All right, the next step, and I just got it lightly screwed in there. The next step is going to gonna have the uh, ground wire, and I'm gonna solder that real quick, and then feed it through the cavity, and we'll see in a bit. All right, I got the ground wire soldered to the claw, and then pull through the other side through the pickup cavity and into the pedometer cavity. So, all right, so the next step is going to be. To break out my input jack and get that wired up like I said it's always a simple passive but I've got a really cool hot pickup for this build and it's that, that Seymour Duncan it's awesome with the, uh, the chrome uh, pickup ring so yeah I'm really stoked for that I'm really anxious to hear how good that's gonna sound I mean it's got I think it's like 15.6 uh, K ohm reading, so it's a very hot pickup. And for this guitar, I mean, man, man. and I am going to be tuning this guitar to E flat, so and it's going to stay at E flat. So, all right, so let me next step, uh, let me get the input jack wired up and everything like that, and we'll see in a little bit. All right, pickup jack installed, and it looks amazing and spaced good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get the pickup out, and we're going to temporarily fasten one of the screws and then wire it through and then flip it over and then we'll get the pedometer and then we'll get the kill switch wired up and we'll see in a little bit all right got the pickup wired through and temporarily placed with one screw that way when the springs are on i can place it perfectly so all right next step is to flip it over uh get the pedometer uh get the uh, kill switch wired and the pedometer wired up and we'll see you in the next step all right see you in a bit. all right got the kill switch wired up and I'll install it in the body and then we'll be ready for the pedometer to get wired in. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, got the kill switch wired and pushed through and installed and the plug came through the killer. Alright, let me flip it over and we'll get ready to wire it all together. We'll see in a little bit. Alright, we got it completely wired up. It went pretty good. Now we'll flip it over and do a full on test. Alright, we'll see in a little bit. All right, we're at the test phase. Got the feel pretty confident in this one. On off the kill switch, and then we've got the volume pot, and then we'll start with it off like tradition. And I got my got signal. All right, plug it in. One hand. All right, we got the kill switch on the volume off nothing kill switch on volume full blast okay I'm not getting anything ah. all right we'll see we'll see in a sec all right after some extensive testing I determined it was the wires that I spliced from the pickup and now everything is good to go let me show you I got everything plugged in I got the volume all the way up, the kill switch on, yeah, kill switch off, nothing, sweet, kill switch on, and then turn the volume, and you can see how it gradually gets quieter and quieter. 
So we are successfully wired. All right, so let, next step will be to uh, put the uh, access panel plate for the, oop, the wiring, and we'll be right back. All right, the access panel plate has been installed and everything looks good. All right, so now it's time to test it one more time, of course, just in case, because you just never know. It could have got, when I put the cover on, something might have bumped, so. And then put this on a hanger and start preparing the neck. All right, we'll see in a little bit. Looking good. All right, body's back on the hanger. Now it's time to install the string trees. And we're going to go with these girthy ones again. I like these ones a lot. And install the tuning keys. And we will see in a little bit. All right, got the string trees installed. Got the tuning pegs installed. And it looks awesome with everything attached. All right, and clean up my mess a little bit. Time to get the body and the neck together. Ooh, let's get these guys together, see what happens. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, quick update. It's time to put the body with the neck, and they are looking awesome. All right, let me join these two together, fingers crossed. Hopefully, uh, none of this paint over bleed will have any effect on anything, but all right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, got the neck attached to the body. Oh uh, wow, that is so awesome. Jeez, I love doing this. this. This is a part of the build that, I mean, when it all comes together like that, I mean, I still got to put the strings on it and make sure all my measurements and intonate and all that stuff, but when you, when you join the body to the neck for the first time, oh, the gratification is just, it's unreal. Look at that. It's just, oh wow, I love it. Love it. Hate to sound like faux pas, but that is just gorgeous. Look at that. That's just man. All right. So uh, next step is to uh, put the, both the E strings on there, and then start adjusting the bridge. And wow. Let's see if I can do it with this one hand. I want to show you the back. Is just killer man I can't wait to put the reflectors and I'm actually gonna put some tape on the front and put some of my picks I've had picks made for myself a while back and I'm gonna put a strip of uh, the tape right here and I'm gonna put some picks and I'm gonna put the quarter 71 quarter and on the back we're gonna do some reflectors but all right Whew, take it all in, take a deep breath, and then clean up my mess a little bit, and then we'll see in a little bit. All right. Look at that. Wow. I love it. So glad I went with this paint job. All right. Yeah, that's just awesome. Awesome. Awesome, baby! All right, I'll see you next step. All right, another quick update. I installed the screws for the pickup ring, and I put both the E-strings on, and we are dead center. I, you know, adjusted the neck, and the neck pocket is looking spot on. All my measurements and everything were, were perfectly dead on. See that? Awesome. All right, so get the rest of the strings on here, and then dial in the string tension tune it up intonate and all that other good stuff but yeah it's looking awesome so it's gonna hopefully be great all right we'll see you in a little bit all right quick update i got it dialed in it is sounding and it's just playing it's sounding amazing wow got it tuned to e flat and it is just man it is just awesome all right so next up is to put on the strap buttons and then once i do that let it set for a little while and then we're gonna put some uh, reflectors we're gonna put a quarter on there we're gonna put the back cover plate and all that good stuff all right we'll see you in a little bit all right got the strap buttons installed I'm so glad I started doing this step prior to when the in the planning stages that way I don't have to worry about it now all right so we're gonna put on the back cover plate and we'll see when it's set Hey, I don't think I've ever explained this step before. I've got I just finished uh, 
putting the holes and then countersinking the holes for the screws and I did this all by hand and on the sides if you have some shag carpeting you rub it and it actually melts it and it makes it round and perfect and it had a film I already took the film off but yeah I used a Dremel tool and I do it by hand this one right here and I just you know by hand bore it out and then it makes the holes. I did the same thing with the uh, the pedometer screws. That way it gives it a finished professional look. That way, see that? And then I'll test the screws in there and then we'll mount it. I got my drill and everything like that. Pre-drill the holes and then mount that. And then we're gonna do some reflectors, baby. Yeah! All right, so I'm gonna figure out that and we'll see you in a minute. All right, got the back uh, spring bridge cavity plate cover installed and it is looking awesome all right it's time for some reflectors i'm going to figure out where i'm going to put them all in we'll see you when it's over all right <laughs> i installed the reflectors uh, this is so cool uh, and it's got the super duty stick them hopefully they don't fall off but if even if they do i mean <laughs> it's so awesome Oh wow, okay. Whew, I got my 1971 quarter. I'm gonna put a couple holes in and then we're gonna put it in front by the bridge in a good spot too, cause it's white. And then we'll do the tape and then we'll be done. Wow, that is so awesome. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. added the 1971 quarter and I'm not gonna block the bridge because I'm gonna use the bridge but it's just there for effect and I added my custom picks so it's pretty cool <laughs> so this is gonna be awesome so we're gonna let this set for a little while and hang it on the hanger or hang it back in the other room and uh, reflectors So, all right, and then I will do a full photo shoot and demonstration on how this guitar sounds and plays. <laughs> That's just awesome. Turns out way better than I thought it would, but yeah. All right, and we will see you shortly. <laughs> see you in a little bit.